Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Admar Sandelichok. Advocate Ike Kumalo is one of the controversial uh, lawyers in South Africa. Uh, he's also a social media influencer, a person who speaks his mind, a person who don't agree with, with the majority unless they are right, a person who's very critical of, uh, of thoughts. And uh, he has a lot to say when it comes to the leader of the EFF, Julius Malim, or the leadership of the EFF entirely. Ike Kumalo was once accused of uh, uh, being one of the leaders of the civil unrest which transpired in 2021, July 2021. He was one of the people who were arrested and accused of uh, orchestrating uh, what transpired, the, what led to the looting in KwaZulu Natal and in some parts of Gauteng. And other than that, he's someone who takes to social media to speak his mind. He has recently lambasted on the leadership of Julius Malema, saying that a lot of South Africans do not realize what the EFF is and what the EFF seeks to achieve. He has his strong views uh, when, when, when it comes to whatever that he alleges. And uh, I think uh, we shouldn't be told not to listen to him as, to, as compared to uh, who we should listen to. Because politicians will tell us that we must not take this one serious, must take that one serious. And then later they are the ones who turn against the people who they said we must uh, take serious. And then they go and lean on those who uh, they once spoke bad about. So we must also be careful about what these politicians lead us to. Now, he says that the EFF is there to stop the people, stop black people from fighting for their interests. And he says he's, he's convinced. And he says that a lot of black people do not realize that. He says that we do not see the EFF for what it is. And he is convinced that whenever black people want to rise and fight for their interest, Julius Malima will be there to act as if he is going to lead black people into success as to what the, as to their demands but he will only neutralize them and uh, send them back to where they stay to meet the very same problems that they wanted to rise to address he says that uh, the EFF leadership is only there to threaten the state and it will do nothing more than that because he says that the people who they claim that they want to take power from are the very same people who are funding their lifestyles. I don't know if he has facts or evidence to prove these allegations. But he say he is convinced that a lot of South Africans are not aware of what they are supporting. And he says that the EFF is more dangerous than the ANC and the DA combined. Can we trust whatever he says? Because we know that when these people uh, put their analysis out there, whenever they are asked as to which political party I was supposed to vote for or which political party are they voting or are supporting, they don't have a clear answer. So we end up not knowing whether we should trust them or not. But they raise uh, issues which are eye-opening, which are thought-provoking, which helps us to carefully look at these leaders and what is it that they really represent. For example, the EFF, he says that the EFF leader, Julius Malema, says that they are going to expropriate land without compensation. But he says that he's not leading uh, uh, through an example. He says that he only tells people to go and occupy the land 
while he himself stays on the land of a white man. While he himself stayed in the most secured estate. But he tells people that they must remove the borders. That South Africa must not have protection. It must not have control of who enters and who goes out of the country with what. But he stays in a place that is secured. He stays in a home where you cannot just enter and leave. But he tells the people that borders must be scrapped. It, they are part of a colonial system. And it doesn't give us a solution as to how are we going to control the way uh, vehicles, for example, are being stolen and, and, and illegally exported outside South Africa. How are we going to control that? It doesn't tell us how are we going to control uh, uh, the, 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 these uh, fake cigarettes that are being smuggled into South Africa. It doesn't tell us how are we going to control uh, stolen goods and that, that are being sent outside of South Africa. How are we going to control money and things like that? It doesn't come with solutions. And Ike accuses him as being someone who should not be taken serious and should not be trusted. But we know that the EFF leader and the EFF itself speaks about uh, what people need to hear. And it speaks to the needs of the people. And uh, you cannot expect solutions now since they are not in power. And wherever they are given a chance to participate in government, they make sure that they put pressure in their leaders and their leaders are seen to be doing something. And if you don't agree with them uh, otherwise, and then they make sure that they get rid of you and they continue to be want to be seen as this perfect uh, political alternative in South Africa. But you will be surprised why a lot of people do not give the EFF a chance. Maybe deep down a lot of people see what the EFF is or what is it that the EFF do not get right on the ground when it's time for general elections or local government elections. We know that it is growing. It is known as the fastest growing political party in South Africa with at least 10% uh, representation in parliament. And I think 13% in local government, if I'm not mistaken, but they are growing very well. And the rest of number one and number two political parties in South Africa are declining. So in preparation for 2024, we need to know these leaders. We need to understand these political parties so that when we go and cast our votes, we know what is it that we are bringing towards us and what is it that we are taking away from our future. This is Authentic Info Podcast. I'm your host, Admar Sandile Chauke. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let us grow together. Thank you.